Hi everybody, welcome back to those who are new to my channel and welcome to those who are coming back to hang with me. Thank you. So, as you can see, there is a theme as you'll probably have seen in the thumbnail in my cup, which is the Witch in the Medium, the black and white. Um, today we are doing the subject matter of what really is dark and light energy. Yes, it is time. I know that this is the month of October and this is the season of the witch and is the season of the spirits. I am going to be doing this month a lot of subject matters on spirits on Halloween. Is it true that the spirits roam around more at this time of year? Here's a little hint. No. Sorry to disappoint everybody. <laughs> At least that's not how I see it. I'll get deeper into it in another video. It's really that you guys are kind of finally joining my world and the spirit world and listening and paying attention to what they have to say because everyone has deemed this is the time. So there you go. And they're like, finally. We have to wait till October for everyone as a unison to pay attention. But I will definitely be diving deeper into that. I'm also going to do a live um, Q&A chat on that, on the whole spirit world. And I'll be doing posts on this this month. And of course, The Witch in the Medium, the podcast that I'm on with my wonderful co-host and friend, Mystic Dylan, we're obviously going to be covering it from our two different perspectives. But let's get into today. I really felt like in order to talk about um, what I thought is important in order to talk about these type of subjects, we need to kind of dive into the idea of what is dark and what is light energy. And thank you guys for coming back who have been hanging with me and all the new people who have found me. So appreciate it. I hit 2000 subscribers. Say what? To me, I know in the YouTube global world, it's probably not a ton, but to me, it is a lot, and I'm very appreciative, and if you haven't subscribed, do so. Okay, let's get started. All right, so the difference between dark and light energy. Okay, um, as you can see, I'm wearing the theme here, 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 the, the theme of this, and my thumbnail will reflect that, I'm sure. Um dark energy per se is oftentimes looked at as you know negative bad evil and all this type of stuff and light energy is pixelated into light and wonderful and bringing in all that is positive and is good here's a little clincher we are of both all of us hold the dark and light energy inside of us um, we can choose to use our sight Cats are on cue, right? Let's listen on cue, yes. Um, we can use the part of us, our sight, or if you are someone who has sight in intuition, if you are um, someone who feels and sees things, you can use it to see and to lift and to heal and all those things. And inside of us, we also have a dark side that can use it to break down and destroy so to speak. I don't mean destroy in the sake of like, oh, uh, evilness come my way, I'm going to destroy. I don't mean like all cheesy and cartoony. I mean in the sense that if you are someone who has a high vibration and you tend to lift people and you t tend to bring them up, you can use that high vibration to also break someone down. The dark part of us, the dark energy that exists is actually your warrior. It is your warrior side, is your side that rises up and takes charge for yourself and for others. What I mean by that is your warrior side is the protective. I kind of call that more your dark side. So let's just kind of look at it in my favorite terms, which is Star Wars, right? If you see like in there, there's the dark side and there's the light. There's a, the dark force and, and the light force. Um, and in that you see that um, Luke and Darth Vader and everyone has the choice, right? To, to choose which side they're going to use this power on. So the force and this energy is a kind of a sense of a power, right? And you choose 
which are you going to use it on. However, that does not mean that Yoda, it does not mean Obi-Wan, doesn't mean that any of these inner uh, people in, the, <laughs> in my uh, fictional comparison, but it, I actually feel like it's based on, on something real, doesn't f use their force to protect and be warriors, especially of themselves, especially of others, of the choice between the dark and the light. See, which are you going to use? I feel that you, the dark side of you is this part that rises up and protects. Now, I'm not talking, and if those are going to comment, I'm not talking about evil. I'm not talking about a negative energy that wants to destroy just the sake for destroying. You know what I mean? That doesn't want to, like bring any kind of light into the situation, doesn't want to have compassion, doesn't want to have empathy. That's a different kind of energy. An energy that wants to destroy just for the sake of destroying, that thinks it's funny or it's coming from ego, that thinks takes pleasure in it, that, you know, takes something, takes someone who is just like living in their light and living in their in their self and then you say, okay, I don't like that. So that's a different kind of energy energy a different kind of dark energy. I would call that more negative. I wouldn't call it dark. I actually wouldn't call it dark. I would call it negative. A negative energy that goes dark real quick plummets down. A negative energy is saying, I don't care how happy you are. I don't care how you feel. I don't care what the world is feeling. I don't like this joy. I want to bring a cloud over it to destroy, to control, to, ha to reign over. That is coming from a very different, dark, negative place. So we can get caught up in terminology. But when someone is saying, I'm of light, I'm only of light, and I'm only of light, and I'm only of light, they're basically setting judgment on our human nature. And our human nature is the need to protect if you have a family, if you have pets, if you even just have a high compassion for others, inside of yourself your human nature wants to rise up and conquer that's why we like these stories of the one that is um, treated wrong the one that is is um, the the underdog we love seeing the story of it, that rising up we also love the story of someone facing some uh, an energy that is out to destroy just for the sake of ego and power so it is very important that you understand the difference and so if you get caught up in terminology don't kind of actually get caught up in the feeling of energy and it is okay for you to embrace your dark and light side and bring them together they can work together they can be one of each side of you and each hand is working to pick up this cup so I can get some liquid each side of you it can work together and that is different than some kind of negative energy that is rising up for the sake for destroying so I think we get caught up in terminology when we really should be focusing on the vibration and the feeling and the intention of, of where someone is coming from and how they're wielding their power so here's the the most important part when you have when you're talking about energy and you're talking about someone who's coming from a dark place and you're talking about someone who's coming from a light place someone who claims they're coming from the light place can be wielding their power only for the sake of themselves only for coming from a place of ego of look at me as self-importance um i'm so important they can even be spewing all kinds of wonderful beautiful things and saying all kinds of wonderful beautiful enlightening things for the sake of their own gain of power. I don't mean financial gain. I don't mean bringing things into your life. I'm not saying those people don't deserve to have a house and have food and get taken care of. Of course, everybody, the universe wants to take care of. But when you're coming from a pure place of, look at me, I'm in this place, follow me, um, you know, say more to me, rise me up. If you're coming to a place of self-importance and doing it for the sake to be seen and heard, and that is it, this is a different energy. When people um, own their flaws, listen, I'm flawed, 
don't follow me. <laughs> don't follow me as an example. I'm just here to give messages and anybody who's coming from any kind of position who's in the spiritual world should constantly be um, saying this. We're all flawed. We all have our warts and scratches and and scars and things that we um, battle inside of ourselves. But if you are being self-reflective and if you're looking inside of yourself and you're owning the fact that you're human and you're flawed, actually, this is light. The, to me, that's a light place. That is someone who's trying to come from a place of humility. The dark place of all of us can be stumble. So let me say it like this. The light place of us can be stumbling and falling and tripping up and doing the best we can, all of us. And the dark part of us rises up and speaks up not only for yourself don't forget it's not just about rescuing others but it is important to put those boundaries around yourself and protective and value yourself because this is the most important part people miss is that a negative energy is going to teach you not to value yourself it's going to teach you to put down yourself it's going to teach you it's going to push you into the space of you are not worthy um you are lucky to merely exist, that you are not worthy of anything. That's a negative energy. To me, that is an energy that's going deeper into a dark place. And a positive dark place is going to rise up. This dark side of you will rise up and say, I am going to battle for what is, I feel going to protect the innocent, that is going to protect something that is coming from compassion and empathy and is not out to destroy. It doesn't mean you don't hurt someone's feelings, you don't do something wrong, you don't mess up, you don't make mistakes and make bad decisions because that is part of the human experience. But to call someone dark who is in that space is different. To me, what people mean when they say, oh, that person is dark or that is a dark thing and that's happening, it's more of a negative. A negative is sucking out the light completely and only leaving an empty space. It's an emptiness and it's an empty void and that void can never get filled enough. So be careful about when you tread down this path. And the reason why I like to start off with this before we dive into the month that people want to get into, which is the spirit world, is because this is often very much, very much detected um shown in the spirit world as there's dark entities or there's dark spirits and there's light spirits and there's good angels and there's bad angels and da 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 da, da. and people tend to kind of go down that path when really it what i'm describing what we're doing here and the energies and the warfare the sports spiritual warfare that we are battling right here within each other and within our realm it is happening in this realm as well and it is still the same there are energies and spirits that are trying to learn from their flaws that are trying to grow they're trying to evolve they're trying to understand and then there's the um, negative energies that are like i don't care i don't want to understand i don't want to know anything i just want to stay in this negative void all right so i hope this explains this what I like to say to people is embrace the dark side, the side that wants to, to battle and wants to protect and wants to rise up and wants to value oneself and value others and always be learning and growing. The warrior side is to me the positive dark side that we all carry. So I hope that made sense and let's that leave that as a foundation to the entry to October as we get into all these subject matters. I would like to propose to you guys to send me your questions on my Instagram, Adele Levine. I'm also going to post just a simple post in my um, community saying, hey, what questions do you have about the spirit world, about Halloween? about is this the thinnest time of the veil and all this type of stuff because I'm going to cover all that on on my future YouTubes YouTubes YouTube videos so <laughs> I hope that makes sense um, and I think it'll be fun I can't wait to get into all of that thank you guys for joining me follow yourself follow inside of you listen to others take in 
Imagine it's like your little pot, cauldron, whatever you want to call it, and you're just pouring in a little bit of this and a little bit of that and stirring it up and making it your own potion. All spiritual teachers, all people who are walking this path truly are only here to guide and to lend you their knowledge as much as they come to understand, including me. And you're supposed to take a little bit of this and make your own little potion instead of feeling like you have to follow an exact recipe because we're all uniquely different. So thank you guys again. <laughs> um, you can follow me on a day of vine on Instagram, all social media, of course, on here, the witch in the medium podcast that I co-host with mystic Dylan, where we have two different views on the same subject matters and have a little fun. Be sure to catch us on all, um, platforms that have those podcasts and I'll see you guys soon.